dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I Hey guys, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys my kids' minimalist wardrobes for fall and winter 2022. I generally make this video by curating all of my kids' stuff and then just sharing it with you guys. But this time, I'm gonna do it a little bit different I am going to kind of vlog style it a little bit. I want to share the process. So if you don't mind dropping a comment below and let me know if you prefer, I just want to see the stuff or tell me how you do it. I want to see the process. Um, thank you in advance. I greatly appreciate it. So step number one is purge. It's not necessarily about getting rid of all of your stuff, although I love to do that because I love to be minimal. It's more about knowing what you have so that you don't make unnecessary purchases, you don't end up with duplicates. Um, if you don't really know what you have, then you don't really know what you need. So step number one is purge, touch all your items, know what you got. Step number two is purchase, and that's where we're kind of jumping into this video. Once you know what you need, you know what to buy. I have all my purchases right here. So blue is our neutral. I am going to show you what I got here and then we'll organize all our stuff and you'll see each kid's entire wardrobe. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, socks. These are for my 10 year old. They are just Cat and Jack crew socks. I got sleepers for my baby. He is eight months old now, so we needed to hit up the next size. And these are the sleepers I buy. I get them off Amazon. They are Parade is the brand. They are sustainable, organic, 100% cotton, and I love them. When they grow, I just get them the next size up. And there's a couple of things about this I love. So I just wanna, I wanna zoom in and show you some detail here. 100% cotton. They are so soft. And they have uh, cuffs for the sleeves. So if they're cold or you maybe still have a baby that like scratches his face, then you can cuff these in to comfortable foots. Also, uh, because they open at the bottom for not footies, your kids don't grow out of them as fast and they are double zips. So they'll zip up for nighttime diaper changes if you need and they zip down for easy changing. I love, love, love this brand. I can't recommend it enough. They're a little pricey. It's like $22 for this. So I got him two and honestly, I would like to have four, <laughs> but I'm gonna start with two. He has a couple that still fit him from summer and I'm gonna hold off. Cause they're pricey, I, I don't get them all at once. So that is what I got to incorporate into my eight month old wardrobe. T-shirt, one, two, three, four, five. These are for my two-year-old. So this is his navy blue T-shirt. Next up is navy blue T-shirts for my 10-year-old. Now, I love the Cat and Jack. They are a little bit softer than the ones from Walmart. As far as color and quality, I mean, it's comparable. Uh, I do like them better than the old navy ones. I have gotten T-shirts from Old Navy and I, it sh I'm sure it's just the type of fabric, but they seem to pill a little faster. And as far as these ones, my five-year-old has been wearing his navy blue t-shirts for de like a solid year and a half, maybe even longer. And I'm gonna be able to pass them down to my next son, no problem. So they are holding up great. One, two, three, four, five. I did six navy blue t-shirts. Next is navy blue t-shirts for my said five-year-old. Like I said, he's been wearing the same ones for over a year and a half, but they're just too small now. Size six, seven, navy blue, cat and jack. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Next up for purchases are, okay, so I got a pair of jeans for my daughter. She actually has um, like five pairs of navy blue leggings, but I do want her to have one pair of jeans to go out. I got her the thin leg because she wears little boots in the winter. They have some nice little like distressed detailing that I think is kind of cute. I generally shy away from jeans that are like, hey, by the way, you saw me wear these last week and I'm wearing them again this week. A lot of times I like to choose dark, plain jeans 
because people don't notice that you're repeating them so much. So these are for my daughter. And then sweaters. So I got this sweater in three sizes. My five-year-old honestly didn't need a sweater, but this is gonna be the last year that I can pick up all of their sweaters in the same section. And so I really want to take advantage of the fact that my five-year-old, two-year-old, and eight-month-old can all match. So those are the sweaters I picked up for them. Lastly, for purchases, they're not really navy blue. They're more like a gray blue, muted blue color, but they are men's medium pocket tees. And I pick these up for me. <laughs> uh, I do have other clothes that I wear when we're going out or we're going to church, but I need a uniform as well. Um, I function best when I don't have to think about what I'm wearing. So I picked up three of these t-shirts so that on just like from day to day, I can just get dressed in the morning with my jeans and my brown leather belt and my suede shoes. And I pretty much match all the kids and we all look nice and cohesive together and I'm comfortable. Now, men's t-shirts. Yeah, guys, men's t-shirts are what I wear um, because I like the longer sleeve. And unless you find a women's drop shoulder sleeve, I mean, if I found the perfect women's drop shoulder sleeve tee today, I would probably buy five of them and then be good for the next few years. But I can't find them. So, say la vie. Uh, I bought these this time. I only bought three. I have, I'll buy more if they work. And if they don't work, then it wasn't a huge imposition or a ton of money. So I got three of these shirts for me. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I can just match the game. Now you have seen everything I purchased. Um, I did purchase, let's see, I spent 40 bucks at Old Navy. I got my daughter pink t-shirts and a pair of boots. I spent $100 at Target, under 100 at Target, and I spent 40 on the two sleepers, a little over. They were 22 bucks each, so 44 plus tax for the sleepers. And that's all the invested money I have this year for all five of my children. I feel like we're doing all right. Now, let's actually get all of their stuff out and we will start curating these wardrobes. All right, so this is my 10 year old's entire wardrobe here. He's got two pairs of the same kind of shoes. One are for play and one are for church or just going out on the town. Socks. He's got one sweater. This is just like the old navy. It's a last year style. It still fits him, so we're not gonna get a new one. So he's got one sweater, six navy blue t-shirts, six pairs of jeans. He's actually got four, you can't see them all because some are in the laundry, but he's got four pairs of these sweat cotton shorts and he's got two pairs of sweatpants, and those are for sleeping or lounging in. This is a 21 item wardrobe that you see here. Of course, I'm not counting socks. I am, let's say 22, and I'll just count all of the socks as a single item. So we've got a 22 item wardrobe here. On top of that, he has one winter coat, and underwear, and face masks. <music> are gonna work on my five-year-old. So since all his stuff hadn't been washed and pulled into rotation yet, I still have his larger items that need to get packed away. So I'm gonna set aside all of his extra small navy blue t-shirts. He's got six of these and he's worn them for over a year. A four to five-year-old wore six t-shirts on repeat for over a year and they still look like this. Now, there is some mild staining here and there, but honestly, I'm not worried about it because this is fast fashion. I feel guilty about buying fast fashion. I don't know how much someone got paid to make this shirt, and I don't know what their working conditions are. What I know is I could afford this shirt for my child, but I made sure to care for it and love it, and that, in some way, I feel like honors whoever made this shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna really quickly take out all of his shirts um, that are the other size. I'm gonna put them on hangers and put them upstairs. So these are 
my five-year-old two pairs of sweatpants. Um, I do prefer for them all to have navy blue, but this is what we have. Someone passed them down. They're comfortable. He likes them. So I'm not going to invest in new sweatpants. It's not ideal, but it's efficient. So here's his two pairs of sweatpants. And his four pairs of cotton shorts, just like my 10 year old has. So I am going to hang these up in the future wear closet. All good to go. I'm gonna really quickly take all the tags off of his new t-shirts. The great thing about doing wardrobes like this, now I wanna say that I know a lot of you aren't gonna be interested in this. If you really enjoy shopping or you want your kids to match and look cute in fall outfits, there is no judgment. Uh, that's something that I think would be cute, but it's just not a priority for me. But there's no shame if that's a priority for you. Uh, something else that's a priority for me <laughs> is our budget. And that is a big part of this. The navy blue colored shirts aren't necessarily my most favorite neutral, but because they hold up well enough that I can pass them down, um, now the ones that my five-year-old is wearing, was wearing, that I just hung up now my two year old can wear those. And when he gets bigger, and depending on how well they do, my eight month old might even be able to wear those as well. I also wanna say that this seems really restrictive, but my son, I actually took him to Old Navy in, uh, in May for his birthday, and I was like, let's pick out your summer clothes, because I wanted to give my 10 year old the opportunity to wear different things and see what he likes and try things on, and see if he has any specific style. I definitely don't want them to grow up and feel like, oh, my terrible mother, you know, that's what they're gonna talk to their therapist about, right? Our minimalist wardrobes. <laughs> um, but after a season of dressing and all of those items that he had chosen, he actually came and said, mom, I like the blue t-shirts better. I feel more comfortable in the darker color. I don't feel like I like stick out a lot and I always know what I'm gonna look like. And so he of his own accord decided that he wanted to go back to this. So I know I'm gonna get those comments below that think I'm just like this terrible mom, but I am generous with my children when they're old enough and desire to make changes. And I do check in with them about what they think is okay. For example, my five-year-old, these are the same cotton shorts that my 10-year-old wears, right? But I let him pick the colors and he likes them. He also had other things that were passed down to us and after he filtered through everything, he liked what we bought best because I am mindful. I don't buy my kids things that are uncomfortable. I don't buy my kids things that are so expensive. I'm gonna like freak out if they use them and play in them and make messes in them, you know. Um, so just a little quick thing because I know that a lot of people worry about are your kids happy with that? And my boys absolutely are. And I'll talk more about my daughter when I get to her capsule, but let's keep, get, let's get this done really quickly. If you're interested in doing something like this and you have a lot of kids, I do recommend, um, like the navy blue t-shirts are here every year. So I can incrementally buy those each year as I need them. But like this sweater will not be here next year. It will be a different sweater. So if you do want to get something like this, I would just buy it in every size if you can afford to do it. I didn't this time. I decided to take the other two out of my cart. But because I have got an 18 month, a 2T and a 5T, by the end of the season, I may decide to go ahead and go back and get the 3T and 4T so that we just have this all the way up. And then each season, I have less new stuff I have to buy. And that's really, from a financial perspective, that's the ultimate goal is if you buy things intentionally, then, then you don't have to buy a ton of new things. You know, Last year, I had to get all of the boys' jeans. This year, I didn't. Next year, I will have to buy three T jeans and size six jeans and size 10 jeans. But see like how great is that? I can already start thinking and budgeting for that, right? The year after that is gonna be awesome because my seven year old will be in my 10 year old's eight size eight jeans because that's what he's wearing and my 
um, then three-year-old will be in my four-year-old 4T stuff. So, like I said, the expensive things like jeans get a dark, neutral color, neutral fit, and then those last for such a long time. For my five-year-old, we have two pairs of sweatpants, four pairs of soft cotton shorts, and this is what they sleep in or lounge in, one sweater, six pairs of jeans, six navy blue t-shirts, and one pair of shoes. He also has a winter coat for colder months, and he doesn't have masks. He hasn't been in a position to like need them, but like youth is size, one size fits all kind of. So if he needed them, he could easily use his brothers. Not a big deal. But this is his entire wardrobe, plus uh, underwear in the bin and his socks are by the back door. It's six, 12, 18, 19, 20. Is that right? So he's got, uh, and socks would make it 21 and the coat would make it 22. So not including underwear, this is a 22 item wardrobe. This process of adding on incrementally works if you're really mindful about what your plan is in the beginning. I started getting these wardrobes together three years ago. So every year I can add on to this same um, plan and it works really well for us. Now I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, just because you do this doesn't mean you can't buy a, a cute fall outfit that you want to wear for pictures or for church. It doesn't mean that you can't go through hand-me-downs and keep what you love. Just saying that even though we do those things sometimes, this always comes back to me the most convenient thing for us. When it comes to laundry, I do not fold all their laundry. I just sort their laundry. So I'm gonna throw all this in here. It'll get washed, it'll get tossed back in there. And when I say, okay guys, get dressed, they'll all just go to their hamper and they'll look for a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and they'll say, mom, is it cold? <laughs> if it's cold, they'll grab their sweater. You know, It takes my five-year-old less than five minutes to get dressed, even though he takes like a painfully long time putting on these slip on easy Nikes. Uh, but he can be up and dressed and out of the house in five minutes and all I have to do is say, hey buddy, get dressed. It's time to go. And yeah, lifesaver guys. This is a lifesaver. I know it seems like plain and like I said, there's a lot of people who want to shop for cute stuff and this method does not necessarily complement that one. But it's worth it in the long run. So that's my five-year-old stuff. Let's move on to the three-year-old and that's my little girl. So here are all of my daughter's church clothes. So she's got this, well, that's just a hanger. She's got this little cute dress for fall. She's got this little cute dress for winter, just neutral denim. She's got this stripy dress with a little vest. The vest actually can go with all of the other dresses. It's just on this one right now. I may not keep this. She's a little funny about the sleeve length, but, uh, but we still have it for right now. She also has this cute little, very soft rainbow dress. My favorite polka dot tiered dress. Then she has this pink sweater and somewhere we have her, her butterfly dress. So there's one more here that you don't see. But these are all the things that we pick from from church. And this is ranging from things that look good during fall, things that look good during Christmas. And just, you know, this all looks good with all the boys' navy blue regular stuff. And as it gets colder in the winter, I did hold on to three long sleeve sweater dresses. Um, but they, you're like, they're not down here accessible to me for me to show you right now. But these are winter things we have to pick from for church and events. But this is not her everyday wardrobe. So let's get into her everyday stuff. 
So my daughter wears navy blue leggings as opposed to jeans and they're Kat and Jack also. So they are the same color as the boys t-shirts. So whenever we go out, my daughter is very much so in keeping with my boys. We have got a few pairs of comfortable shorts. She also has a couple of pairs of pajamas. And she has these pink t-shirts from Old Navy. Now, these are Old Navy 3T. I think it was like a pink bamboo is the color. These are like a unisex tee, which makes the sleeve just a little bit longer and the cut just a little bit more boxy. I've noticed like the Cat and Jack shirts for girls are capped sleeve. I don't like cap sleeve either, it's just not my favorite. And also at the side, the hem like comes up at the side. It's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's cute on her, but I prefer these because she wears leggings. And this unisex cut is just a little bit longer and it covers her bottom a little bit better. Now I know that she's only three, <laughs> but I don't know, it matters. So She lives in a uniform just like my boys do, but I don't have your average girl. I have a very spicy firecracker who um, is very specific about the way her clothes feel. She does have this, which honestly I kept because these hadn't shipped in yet and she needed a couple shirts to get her between like my purge and her new stuff getting here. So we did keep this. And this is the Old Navy girl shirt, cap sleeve, rounded hem. It's adorable, I love it. It honestly, it just didn't hold up really well. The floor, I love the small florals, but the pilling is pretty bad. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna keep this one different shirt. Now it's funny, how hard it is to let go of these special items especially like something about just looking at this makes you really want to like cling to that well that one thing what if we need that one extra thing guys <laughs> i'm gonna let this go because you don't need the one extra thing you just don't really need it but it is hard it's hard for me i don't want to let go of it either like it's what if something happens? What if we need an extra shirt? What if one of these gets stained? Like there's all kinds of reasons to hold on to that extra thing. But the truth is we just don't want to let go of some kind of safety that comes from our stuff. And this is a problem when it comes to decluttering and purging just all across the board is there's always some little ditzy floral shirt that you just feel like you don't want to let go of. In the long run, I am practiced enough to know that our whole family is gonna function better if my daughter only has this. It just is. Now, my daughter does have two pairs of these Old Navy shorts and four pairs of biker shirt shorts for summer, and those are gonna go up into the future wear closet if they fit her next year, we'll work on that. If they don't fit her next year, we'll buy something new. But because she's so slight, I have reason to believe that these three T's will still fit her when she's four. All right, so here is my daughter's minimalist everyday wardrobe. So she has got this pink sweater, five pink t-shirts, five blue leggings, her one pair of Old Navy Rose Uggs. She's also got two pairs of comfortable pajamas and two cute extra outfits. Her little baby Yoda sweatsuit, which she loves, and a little Halloween outfit that will get passed on uh, first in November. And then her underwear are in the bin. biggest sacrifice for me. I only have one daughter and I want to shop for her and I want her to look beautiful and adorable. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't choose pink and blue for her. I would want her to be in beautiful neutral rose colors and 
That, that's just what I would choose. That's what I would choose. However, she wants to be comfortable. So I have decided that to satisfy my own crazy, that I buy her, oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot about her jeans. To satisfy my own crazy, I will get her cute things to wear at church once a week. But she is still gonna live in a uniform just like my boys for all of the normal five day weeks, just like me. I have a really cute sweater. I've got my, my designer jeans on. I pair them with cute heels. And today's Sunday as I'm filming this. So for me, I got to look really cute today. But tomorrow, I am gonna put on my regular American Eagle jeans that I wear every single day with a brown belt and my navy blue t-shirt because I need to take that stress out of our every day and it works for us. So I forgot that I also have her skinny jeans here. Yes, I know it looks plain, but you know guys, your kids are cute because they're kids, not because the, the expensive clothes they're wearing. You just, you don't have to spend that much on your kids. They're, they're okay with less. And if you're okay with less, there's a lot of benefits to it. So this is what I wear most every day. Blue shirt, brown belt, jeans, and you can see that we look good together. We match, and your kids, this is your, this is your reminder that your kids look cute because they're kids, right? You don't need to spend a lot of money on amazing outfits for your kids to look cute. They look cute because children are cute. And it's okay, it's enough. They don't have to look amazing. We can all just look like people. All right guys, let's move on to my two-year-old stuff. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? All right guys, so here is my two-year-old. He's got the matching sweater, six navy blue t-shirts, eight varying sweatpants. Now for him, every day he is going to pretty much just wake up and put on sweatpants and a t-shirt with a little pair of shoes. And when we leave the house, he's gonna put on a sweater. 17 items for my two-year-old and he looks like this every day. And because he's a two-year-old, it's adorable. All right guys, so my eight month old is significantly easier to go over. Forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. My eight month old has six pair of the navy blue sweatpants. He's got four onesies and he's got four sleepers. These are the two new ones for winter and these are the two thin ones from Target that he has for summer. They still fit, but once it gets too cold for these, I will buy two more of these. So he'll have four of these for all of winter. But for the most part, he is just living in onesies and sweatpants. So when we go out and about, he looks like this. It is cute little matching sweater, sweatsuit with his little brown shoes. And that is my kids' minimalist wardrobes for fall and winter 2022. You can see that they each had between 15 and 25 pieces including a coat on the top, and they're all gonna match and look nice and feel comfortable. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Again, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or if you would rather just like have me show you the stuff. I'll link one of my older uh, kids' wardrobe videos so you can go check it out and see if you preferred it without so much explanation and processing and stuff like that. But. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Together, if I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving.